Hi everyone, so we're on lesson four now. And this is really nice, it's a double angle formula, they're lovely. You can derive them or you can remember them. So we had like a, an equation which was something like sine A plus B is sine A cos B plus sine B cos A. I think the formula was a, a cos A sine B or something. But what I'm going to do is to give myself a sine 2a, I'm going to make it sine a plus a. So my b is now an a. So my sine 2a will be a sine a cos a plus sine a cos a. So sine 2a, now they're both the same, so it's two lots of sine a cos a. There. And that's a double angle formula. Had loads and loads of uses, but we didn't really have amazing calculators. Um, we just use it now for tricky stuff and for uh, diff well, differentiating, integrating, that type of thing. Right, now then, let's have a look at cos. Because cos A plus B. was, oops, brackets right there, was cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. So if I replace it again, so if I see cos 2A as being cos of A plus A, and I replace the B with an A, I've got cos A cos A minus sine A sine A. So I've got cos 2a, oops, I'm going to do that. Hang on. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Can we undo? Ah, oh, it's not going to let me undo. It must let me undo. Oh, I'll start again. Sorry everyone, I'll just write this quick. Probably make a mistake now doing it. Cos 2a will be cos squared a minus sine squared a. So that's another one to remember or derive if you can't remember it. I remember the 2 sine a cos a. I remember the cos squared minus sine squared. Now what's quite nice is if you look, because I've got a cos squared, I can change that into a 1 minus sine squared, which is what this bit does here. Or I can change the sine squared into a 1 minus cos squared, which is what this bit does here. So it says here, replace sine squared a with 1 minus cos squared a. So my cos 2a would become the cos squared a I had before minus 1 minus cos squared a. So cos 2a, if I expand the brackets, gives me another equation for cos 2a, which is 2 cos squared a minus 1, which is really useful when we do integrating. Because we can't integrate cos squared, we can differentiate cos squared, but change colour. But we can't integrate cos squared. But we can integrate cos 2a. So that's what we're going to use it for, you see. So this one says if I replace cos squared a with 1 minus sine squared a, then my cos 2a will be. So I'm replacing the cos squared with the 1 minus sine squared. Then I had the minus sine squared. So cos 2a, oops. It's 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Once again, same idea, I can differentiate sine squared because I can use the product rule, chain rule, stuff like that, either or. But I can't integrate sine squared. I've got to use the double angle. So that's our big use for that. So I remember 2 sine a cos a. I remember cos squared minus sine squared. 
kind of remember the other two, but I just replaced it dead quick. Tan, I tend to remember. So that would be tan of n plus a. So that's going to be a tan a plus a tan a over 1 minus tan a times by tan a. So tan of 2a is 2 tan a over 1 minus tan squared a. And I tend to remember that one as well. So it's just these two in the middle of the cos ones that I kind of just derived there. What do you reckon about that? Let's put it on full screen a second. Ah, it's not too much. That's not too good on full screen, is it? Can't really see them. So sine 2a, cos 2a has got three different equations for, and tan 2a. There. And I think on the top of the next page it actually gives them to you. There. There. So you have to remember them all and learn how to make them. Uh, I'm tempted, I wonder if we can do this one. Um, yeah, it's not too long, is it? Right. So it's give us a fraction, it tells us that it's obtuse, so it's a big sign to tell us to draw a triangle. So I know that sine theta is 3 fifths, I know that cos theta is going to be 4 fifths from that. Now I've got to remember as well, because it's obtuse, I have a minus 4 fifths in there. So it's something you kind of slightly give you a bit more space there. Minus 4 fifths because it's obtuse. Right, change colour. So we know that sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta. So sine 2 theta oops, is 2 times by 3 fifths times by minus 4 fifths. So sine 2 theta is minus 24 out of 25. Cos 2 theta is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. So just be careful with the minuses being squared. So cos was minus four fifths minus three fifths. So 16 take 16 over 25, take away nine over 25, gives me seven over 25. There we go. I'm going to stop there before I do example two. I nearly got caught out on the obtuse again because I'm rushing, but I shouldn't. I should just take my time, do it properly. That's what they say. Right, I'll finish there.